If you're a language teacher or even a language student and you're looking for audio tools that you can use to practice pronunciation, to do listening material in different accents and different languages, to record yourself speaking, etc., this is the video for you. I'm going to cover three of the best AI tools and they're going to cover a whole range of different areas of using audio in language teaching and the brilliant news is all of the tools that I'm going to show you have a free option and work in multiple languages. This is going to be a real eye-opener into what AI is doing in the area of audio for language teaching. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. This is absolutely fabulous and thanks to Nick Peachy for pointing this out to me. Nick always shares loads of stuff about technology and language teaching and I've already started using this tool straight away. It allows you to paste in any text and it will then generate the audio for it in 70 different languages. I've tested it so far in Spanish, Polish and English. I'll do an example in English. But the brilliant thing is you've got loads of voices to choose from and you can download the audio, which makes this ideal if you want to read and listen to something or if you want to generate some audio for your lesson perfect tool and incredibly you can use this for free. I haven't even logged in and I'm going to try it out and show you how it works. So all we need to do is copy some text and I copied some text from my website. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come down to here. So we're going to try the TTS, the text to speech tool. I'm going to paste in the text that I want to work with. Now notice here that you've got multiple English accents from all over the world and a lot of different Spanish accents as well. And notice also French, German, but loads and loads of other languages as well. Now, if I click here, I can even choose a voice. I'm gonna go with Sonia. I'm gonna click on Generate. It'll just take a few seconds. Russell Stannard is a multi- And now it's ready. Now, the great thing is I can obviously read and listen now at the same time. So if I want to click here, I can read and listen to this. The award-winning educational technologist and founder of www.teachertrainingvideos.com. He has more than eight. Now, the brilliant thing with this technology, of course, is that you can download it. Now, you can't do that with a lot of the other tools that I've highlighted in the past, but this one allows you to download that audio. So you could be pasting in text about anything. There is a limit in the free tool to how much text you can use, but I've not even logged in. Now, I'm going to show you another idea with this tool if you're a student and you want to practice your pronunciation. So I'm just going to clear that text and now what I'm going to do is write in a few words that I just want to practice the pronunciation of. Now this is really useful. It could be sentences, it could be individual words. If you're a student and you've got some difficulty with the pronunciation of certain words, this tool can really help. I use this a lot in Polish. It really helps me. So I've written in some words here. Let's listen to this pronunciation of these words and see if it can deal with photography, ph photographer, photograph and photo because there's a change in the stress. So we'll change over. Let's choose another accent. We'll go for Australian English. We're going to click and see what voices we've got available. We've got William. So let's click on William and we're going to generate the audio and hopefully it's going to be able to pronounce. Extract. Excuse. Photograph, photography, photo, accommodate, commotion. Absolutely brilliant. So again, brilliant for pronunciation. And notice that at the moment it seems that there's almost, this is actually, I'm not even sure if there is a limit now. I'm looking at it. I think you're limited to up to 3,000 characters per text. But it looks like you can use this as much as you like. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, really hope you liked that video. I think that's absolutely fabulous. I'm now going to move on to looking at recording audio. For me, there is one outstanding technology. It's the one I'm going to show you. This tool is ideal for group work activities, get students to record themselves and then perhaps get the students to listen to each other's recordings and leave questions. And the tool I'm going to show you has a free option. Just a quick reminder, if you want more free videos like this one, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos 
to help teachers incorporate technology into their teaching and learning. And if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, you will get a free 14 part short video course looking at some of the best technologies for language teaching. Let's move on now and look at that second technology. Now, when it comes to recording audio on the internet, so you want to share a link and get the students to record themselves speaking, maybe in groups or maybe as individuals, discussions, debates, brainstorming, giving opinions. In my opinion, there is absolutely nothing as good as Padlet. It is my go-to tool for getting my students to record themselves speaking. Let me quickly show you an example, of the sorts of things that I do with Padlet before I show you how I do this. The brilliant news is as well, you can use Padlet for free. You're limited to only three Padlets, but what you can do if you make three of them is delete one and then you can create another one. Let me show you an example. So look at this example here. I've got all my students to come online and to simply introduce themselves to the rest of the group. And now I'm gonna have a second part to this activity, which I really like, where students have to listen to three other students' recordings and to leave some questions or comments. This is super easy. Let me show you then how you do this. The audio quality is also superb. If I click on my one, for example, You'll see that you can just play it straight Hi, away. Hi, my name's Russell. I'm actually running this course. Okay, really, really a good way of very quickly setting up group work and pair work activities, speaking activities. And the nice thing is that students can listen to each other and comment. Let me show you how we make it. So you will need to create an account, click on make, and I would use just a plain board. So click here. And then what I want you to do is to choose this one here, a wall. That's the example that you've seen me use. So click on that, click on done. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to do to set this up. First of all, we need to click on the settings button and give this a title and write some instructions in. So let me do that first. So I've written in my instructions, introduce yourself to the rest of the class. And then I've written in the description, introduce yourself to the class, talk about your teaching background, your interests and why you are doing this course because I'm involved in teacher training, so this is the sort of thing that I would do. So I'm gonna click here. Now I'm gonna do one more thing before I share the link or the QR code that the students can then contribute to. So if I click on this button here again on settings and I come down to the button here, really important button and one often that teachers don't know about it, it's called post fields. I want you to click on post fields and there's a couple of things I want you to do. I want you to first of all click on subject and change that to name because we want our students to write their name and we're going to require that. Okay, so click on save and there's one other thing we need to do. Come down to the attachment and I want you to turn off all of the attachments so they can't attach links or videos, etc. And the only one that I want on is audio recording. And that means the only thing that they can do is record their audio. Now there is a little trick that you can do to make this even better. And that is you can turn off the body. And that means they can't even write anything. They will be absolutely restricted to simply, and again, I'm gonna click on hide and then save, to simply being able to add audio and nothing else. The result is when the students come in, and obviously I'll show you in a minute how they access it, they have to click on this button here. Notice all they can do is write their name and record their audio. So they would click on this button here, check the microphone's working, click on here to record, Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Stop. If they're happy, they click on playback and save. They can even listen. Testing, testing. Perfect, and then save it. They need to wait a few seconds while the audio is uh, processed. There it is, and then click on publish. Now the obvious question is, well, how do you share this with your students? How do they access it? Well, if you come over to this button here and click on this button here, and you've got various options. First of all, you could simply uh, share a link. So you can share a link to the board and then you could uh, put that onto your virtual learning environment or share it through an email and the students will be able to click on the link and add their audio. But another way, and particularly if you want to do this in class, <clears throat> is the students use a QR code. So you click here, it generates a QR code. They could do this with their phones as well, point their phones at the screen uh, with the cameras on, it will activate this and it will bring them straight through to the page where they can add up their audio. 
I love Padlet for audio because it's so stable and works so well. Now obviously keep in mind what I have said, you are restricted to only three Padlets for free. So in that case, if I just click back home, once you've kind of made your Padlet, let me just go back to my homepage and we can see all my Padlets, and I need to delete a Padlet, then what I would do is obviously click here and then click on Move to Trash. Because you are limited with the free tool, you are limited to three Padlets for free. I would seriously look in, into paying for this technology because you can have up to 20 Padlets uh, as a teacher if you uh, pay for the technology. Unfortunately, I don't have any special offers as I don't work for Padlet or anything, but I do really like the tool. Now, the last thing I want to look at is generating podcasts. And then there are now lots of technologies around that will allow you to link to a website or link to some text or link to some PDF files. And it doesn't read out what you provide, rather it generates a podcast on that topic. This can be really interesting because you can make podcasts almost about anything. Now the tool that I've picked out, precisely the reason I've chosen it is because it offers a very good free option and many of these tools don't. If you wanna learn more about podcasts, then join me on Patreon. If you join my Patreon, then you will get additional videos every month and also the chance to do training with me once a month where we meet online. And I'll put the links to my website and to my Patreon in the description below just in case you're interested. Let's now look at this podcast tool that offers a lot for free and let's see how it works. Now from what I can see, it allows you to make up to five podcasts a day. Now this particular one, you can't paste in the text, you give it a topic and it will make a podcast for you on that topic. So let me just quickly write in a topic. So I've asked for a podcast about the best ways to learn a language and I'm gonna click on create. Now I'm using the free tool and I have to say, I'm not even logged in. This is very interesting that instantpodcast.com at the moment is basically completely running for free. And it's now generating the text for me and hopefully in a minute it's gonna generate uh, the audio as well. Okay, so it took just over a minute to do that. I've now got a podcast. We can click on this button here and play it. Notice we can also download this podcast, but also very interestingly is that it provides me with the transcript as well. So let's just quickly listen to this podcast and see what it's like. So we can play the audio here. This is Instant Podcast. Get ready to dive into the world of language learning. In this episode, we'll uncover game-changing strategies, chat with experts, share inspiring stories, and equip you with practical tips to help you master a new language like a pro, no matter your skill level. Language learning can be both exciting and challenging. So you get the audio and you get the uh, text as well. Now obviously, this is fairly fast, so it would obviously be a very good idea to make use of the um, the text itself, but also I think if I click here, notice I can change the playback speed and slow it down a bit. And that might be quite useful if you're gonna use this, for example, in the class with your students. I can see a lot of use of this, particularly for students learning languages though, because they can generate podcasts on topics they're interested in and then listen uh, and uh, read at the same time. Now one thing to keep in mind with this tool, and I'm just gonna click back again, is I've now used two tokens today. You get five tokens a day, so you can generate up to five podcasts a day, and that was the reason why I wanted to show you this particular tool, because it is so generous. Okay, really hope you like the video, and if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, 
there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.